Hello, my name is Modred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Hearts of Iron 4, where we are playing the World Ablaze mod. It is currently 1942. The Germans are still striking into the Soviet Union, though really not making a huge amount of progress. I feel like the 30% of total British production going to the Soviets is helping them quite substantially. Meanwhile, the war in Africa is over. We did manage to win. And that is going to be, um, well, it's probably bad for the Soviets because it now means that the total Axis military muscle is being sent after them. But we now have one less front for ourselves to worry about. Although Africa is still actually owned by Vichy. Maybe I should leave some units garrisoning over there. However, we're starting to, or actually we've very nearly finished the railway. Just has this little bit of track here in Benghazi, um, which will link everything in the north. So we'll have loads of supply and they won't. Uh, meanwhile, the other piece of news, of course, is the ongoing war in the Pacific, where our most powerful fleet is currently operational. We have had a couple of fights against the Japanese. They lost a bunch of battleships. We lost a bunch of carriers. I'm sure it'll be fine. That was mostly because our carriers just didn't have enough aircraft. But with the losses that we suffered, we should, theoretically, be able to replenish all of the uh, air wings that we have here. Meanwhile, there is fighting going on in Siam. We managed to just about, well, actually the, the Malaysians, uh, managed to hold the line. And then our regular forces have just arrived. That's what these purple guys are. And we're now trying to strike back into Thailand. Meanwhile, the assault on Burma has begun. I wonder if there's something I can do about that. Maybe if I split up like half of these guys. So I'm not using up all of the supply. Go and strike out of that. And you as well. Okay, then I want to double check just to say I want no transports going through this. That would be too dangerous. And we have a bunch of civilian factories available for other projects. Um, I think, honestly, this is just going to be a matter of building up our military factories because it has been a little while since we were doing this. And I feel like we could definitely do with the extra production output now. Cool. Uh, we are training another group of soldiers, but we are capped on how many we can get. And then how is that Navy doing? That was you guys. You seem to be doing okay. And we did bring in the second wave of carriers. And I believe that we are also, yeah, researching illustrious carriers. And I think we're probably going to get the one after that as well. What mod is this? This is... World of Blaze. We can get an air doctrine. Um, we have started to strategic bomb... into Germany. Air mission efficiency. Oh, this is anti-bombing uh, stuff. Attack bomber. Ooh, close air support. Hmm. So is that. Okay, there are a lot of upgrades here that I could be using. There's also some carrier stuff. And considering who we're fighting at the moment, we might well want to do that.
Nah, let's go for the ground support. We're using overwhelming air power in Asia as well. <laughs> Did the laptop cool down? Somewhat, yes. War Tales, I think, is about at the maximum of what this laptop can handle. Gonna need to look into that other fan not blowing. I just can't remember if it used to, or if it's always just been off of one side. Could have sworn it was both, but I might be wrong. Right, then the other thing I think we're training are... Those are frigates. Our convoy escorts are at full strength, so that's fine. And then our submarines are active here. Are we? Yes, we are. Getting new submarines too. So we're needing to invest in the uh, the naval game once more. Did we ever manage to do any infiltration on the Japanese? No, because they have such huge penalties. They just... They've abandoned this front. That's interesting. How is the air bombing looking? Didn't we start strap bombing? Oh, wait. No, because we were still researching strap bombers. That's what it was. I was playing another Hearts of Iron game and then got confused. Was that Britain as well? No, that was Germany. Imperial Germany. Um, how are you doing? I'm going to separate these guys off just to kind of get those repairs finished. Shouldn't take them very long. How many shipyards does Malaysia have? Huzzah! You have got five dockyards. So I think what I might actually end up doing... is just give you a bunch of shipyards. We also have some spies available for various jobs. No. Keep them doing their spying stuff. Right, and how's our economy looking? That's the other question. We are at 23, so we could probably do with trying to reduce that. I think that we do have one or two focuses available. Do we have any... Oh, we have no political power, so we wouldn't be able to use that anyway. Taz! Coming in with a 31-month resub. Thank you very much for that as well. Creeping ever closer to the three-year mark. Yes, you are. Just another, what, five months? Appreciate all the YouTube vids on this being a huge help. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. The series still performs really well. It's good to see. Apparently the YouTube algorithm really likes Hearts of Iron. <laughs> Has done for years. Okay, Allied Joint Intelligence I think buffs up the operations of my minions. Now, what else do I need to be getting? Does mobilize the Empire do? War support and all of my friends. Oh, that's huge. 15 building slots, 15 hydropowered aluminium smelters in southern Quebec and Sorgonay. This does increase economic fatigue. I think it might be time to do Sterling Reserve Loans. Wait, I don't have the Woolwich Arsenal. Whoops. 
Let's do that first. I <laughs> haven't done all of the industrial things. That's very unlike me. Let's make sure the Northern Malay also gets built. North London, meanwhile, is down to just 10 damaged factories. Down from the 20 that we had at one point. How many planes do I have in reserve? I have quite a few fighters. We could start trying to wrestle control of the North African coast. That's a very brave submarine. Caught one of them. <coughs> Faster receiver. That is better artillery, I believe. Yarp. And it's still June 1942. We could get the better AT and we may as well. We do have them in our divisions, I believe. The Blood Knights of Germany. <laughs> what a great name. Was India not at war with Japan? It must have been. Okay, so my regular forces are starting to arrive. We do have motorised who are very nearly trained and also the heavy tank. Right, Marines, what are you guys up to? You're still plotting how to take roads. You don't seem to be training very quickly, though. Well, most things in this game don't seem to be happening very quickly. Poor laptop. <laughs> All right, let's have some tea. How do you prefer killing subs with destroyers? You can mostly protect your convoys, but the actual killing is much harder. Honestly, as long as they're not killing convoys, then I'm fine. They can be present and not do anything. It doesn't bother me. Soon you'll be back to power with not a laptop that can overheat. Yep. Ticking off the days next week. I move on Friday. Yeah. I've taken Thursday and Friday off of work. Thursday so I can pack everything up in the hotel. And then Friday morning I move. And then after that, I don't know exactly when I will have my computer shipped over. Soon, I hope. So this is a timeline where the Brits are doing all the heavy lifting. I wouldn't say so. Soviets are doing their share. What have the Soviets lost at this point? 1.5 million. China's lost 4.6 million. Yeah, China's done a lot. Germany's lost 1.6 million. Soviets doing the lion's share of that. Most of my fighting up till now has been against the Italians. We now have significantly more industry than they do. Japan 
Japan's lost almost a million. Who's that against? Oh, <laughs> China. Duh. All right, what did we just get? Something ship-related. Fuel tanks for the subs. I think that would be useful. <clears throat> we can strengthen the resistance some more. I would definitely like to do that. Let's do it in. Well done. Troops are still marching in, that's good. Regular forces should be arriving soon. In fact, we have a bunch of people that can have promotions. Let's take a look what's available. Still waiting for you to get logistics wizard, which requires, of course, organizer. Then William Slim. Huzzah! Basically, just needs a terrain trade so I can get you improvisation expert. <coughs> and then we have the Africa Corps under Orkinlack. The Japanese do seem to be giving up rather easily in the face of my advance here. Let's make sure that you get upgraded. And we can have another air doctrine, which I think we're going to continue with the air attack stuff. Speaking of which, where's the air power here? Air power is completely dominant. We could, however, do with some air power over Borneo. So how about we build an air base? Or two down here. And get those completed as well. I'm a little bit concerned about what's going to happen when Vichy joins. We shall see. Meanwhile, the attack up Siam still continues. You guys are still moving. Do we have any sign of their navies? Seem to be in the South China Sea mostly. This 
is running slow even by this computer standards. Why? Just using up a lot of memory and CPU. Yeah, CPU is basically constantly maxed out. Steam Client Web Helper. Why is that using up 10% of my CPU? I don't know. Bit of a weird one. At least Singapore held. Did you turn the guns inland? No, I just reinforced them with a bunch of troops. And air aircraft. Did I ever send you a third carrier? No, I sent you a bunch of the uh, new battleships, the King George's, I remember now. So they're not exactly the most well-drilled crews. They should at least help. And we're getting a lot of river class ships now available, but we'll be very soon able to start working on some new carriers. So I think I should probably try to research the implacable. Maybe even the audacious. They only take 54 days. So by the end of 1943 I can probably have audacious class ships ready to go. So in that case I think I should probably put all of my production towards submarines. Also, all of you guys are ready for promotions. Not for you. Um, Cunningham. You're one of the destroyer commanders, aren't you? No skills I particularly want you to have. Andrew Cunningham, you're waiting for air controller. Somerville is in charge of the other fleet. You've already got most of those abilities maxed out. Kind of want you to get fleet protector so we can get the destroyer leader. Naval Air Defense Specialist, Forbes. Why does the level 3 have less Naval AA attack? And then we have Rawlings, who is... Spotters. And you're actually very close to getting it. And then we have you. You are in charge of the Mediterranean fleet. You're waiting for air controller and Ironsides. And then finally we have you. You're also a spotter. Resistance contacts, here we go, in Japan. I think this would actually be really powerful around... Oh, I was going to say around Beijing, but that's actually a um, puppet. Maybe in Korea? Or around Nanjing. Hmm.
Well, maybe once we have cracked the German ciphers, which is actually going to be early next year, uh, we can go and crack the Japanese one. Outrageous! Have we infiltrated all of the Japanese departments, I wonder? No. Still need to infiltrate the Air Force. Well, I think that's going to be our next goal. 11 days until the new submarine. Now are these cruiser subs or these regular subs? Cruiser. Which I think we basically decided were just outright better than the U-Class. Those are cruisers. Glory class is the last cruiser. So we could try to get vanguards. Is that a 1940? That's not important. Conquerors are 42. So we could actually try to get the most modern battleships as well. Not to mention Minotaur class. Like cruisers. Which we probably should do. How are Minotaurs in terms of... Capabilities. Surface detection 52. Yes, we definitely want Minotaurs. The only thing they lack is range, but we don't really need the range. It's significantly more expensive. Ah, you know what? No, we'll stick with the Crown class. Crown Colony, just because they're cheaper. Plain old Rex coming in with an 8-month Tier 3. Resubscription, thank you very much for the ongoing support there. Plain old Rex, appreciate that. Too hot for an inspirational quote. Looks like the right time to be in Sweden. Oh, it's pretty warm here as well. <laughs> Especially when you have a laptop that's kind of burning in front of you. Galifax, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you joining us. Peacher Noob coming in with a 13-month resub. Thank you very much for that, Peacher. Another month. Yes, it is. And then Taz coming in with a 31-month resubscription, creeping ever closer to three. I've already read that one, but I'll read it again. Closer to the three-year mark. Any way to hear Churchill's voice? Uh, sure. When he does a speech. <laughs> and even then, the audio quality is questionable, shall we say. 